When a child sits down to study or do research for their homework, they frequently refer to books or websites to get the facts on their topic of interest. This material is used to memorize and recall facts. This factual learning is non-interactive and may fail to create the vivid conceptual impressions that lead to a deeper understanding. In contrast, many schools are exploring conceptual learning to encourage deep understanding and develop thinking skills all students need throughout their education. Think blocks help a child's mind grasp and retain facts by turning critical ideas into tangible structure. In this example, we analyze the history of Horatio Gates and the Battle of Saratoga, but you can use any events or ideas. Make a timeline of the important events with think blocks to make the events tangible. Let's look at the Battle of Saratoga in more detail. The Battle of Saratoga was actually two smaller battles at Freeman's Farm and Bemis Heights. At Freeman's Farm, the British lost two soldiers for every one American loss. And at Bemis Heights, the British lost four to one. The total number of British casualties in the Battle of Saratoga was 9,000. Now let's look at the aftermath of the battle from different perspectives. The common belief is that Horatio Gates was responsible for America's success in the battle. But historically, we see that Horatio Gates was not in Saratoga, and he did not command troops. Benedict Arnold and a few other commanders led the American armies. Horatio Gates' credit for the battle was mostly a result of political maneuvering. You can bring the history to life with think blocks. Use this model of events to construct a diorama or reenactment of the battle and integrate the blocks into the play. Try this for any events or ideas. You can use think blocks to build physical models of the structure of facts to stimulate mental imagery of important factors. Conceptual learning increases understanding and retention by putting the real structure of knowledge in your hand.